Hello, welcome along to Goodwood Golf Club, where today we're running through some of the best laser rangefinders on the market. Now, why should you choose a laser rangefinder over, say, a GPS watch or a GPS handheld device? Well, there's a number of reasons. First of all, laser rangefinders tend to be a lot more precise than GPS units, so they, can give, they give you specific points to the flag and also points on the course whereas GPS devices often just give you generic front, middle and back distances. So if you're after really specific distances to pins, a laser range finder is going to deliver that for you. Obviously they have their limitations in that they only work on line of sight. So if you are blocked out by trees, say, or you've got a blind hole, a laser range finder is going to have uh, difficulty in giving you the distance that you want. But generally speaking, uh, they're very quick to use. They're very easy to use and also they come in at a similar price point to GPS handheld devices with a little bit of extra accuracy and speed. Another thing that lasers offer you is slope adjusted distances. So either built into the same unit or separate unit, which costs a little bit more, they'll give you slope adjusted distances based on the gradient change of the shots from where you are to the flag uh, to help you give you more accurate clubbing information for your shot. So uh, lots of pros when it comes to laser laser rangefinder devices. We've picked out six of our favourites and we're going to run through them now, the pros and cons of each, to help you perhaps give you a little bit more insight into how they perform and why you might choose one over another. So the first laser rangefinder I've picked out from the six is the Bushnell Tor V4 Shift. Now the interesting thing about this, not only is it the lightest laser out of the six that we picked but it also offers slope switch technology here on the side via a switch on the side you can see it moves up and down and that adjusted from standard distances to slope adjusted distances so it's all built in one device which makes it really convenient not only for tournament rounds which makes it legal when it's not employed but then practice rounds and perhaps courses you've not played before you can employ that slope uh, function and it'll give you slope adjusted distances. So a lot of technology crammed into this one device. Uh, we found it really easy to use. It's got kind of grippy areas on the top and bottom that allows you to get a firm hold on it. Um, what we don't like about this laser is how the switch is actually quite easy to knock. It's a little bit too sensitive, so you can find yourself accidentally adjusting it, uh, maybe in your bag or in your hand. But other than that, we really like the functionality of it. It's really clear to see. The, the viewfinder is fantastic. And of course, we've not mentioned the jolt functionality on this. So it gives you a little bit of a vibrating burst when you pick out the flag from the background to let you know that you've got the right distances. So, like I said, a lot of technology packed into this. If you're looking in the market for a laser that's going to give you a little bit of everything, I think the Tor V4 Shift is one you should be considering. It comes in at £339. So next up is the Bushnell Pro X2. And in contrast to the Tor V4 Shift, this is a lot heavier. It comes in at 227 grams. Uh, but we actually like that, it gives you a little bit of extra stability. Compared to the Tor V4 Shift, it's got the same slope switch technology, but it's got a longer range, and that's what you're paying for. You're paying for extra precision from a longer distance, so you can pick out flags from further away, and it is 100% waterproof, so you haven't got to be worried about caught, getting caught up in a shower with this. So a little bit extra money comes in at £449, but you're getting a longer range, a little bit more functionality, and waterproof protection as well. Right, next up is the Nikon CoolShot ATVR. This is one of two lasers from Nikon featuring in this video. Uh, this weighs 200 grams. It's got a very tacky feel to it, so it's very easy to get a uh, firm hold of this, and it fits really nicely in your hand. The thing I really like about this laser, it's got vibration reduction technology. And what that is essentially stabilizes the viewfinder, the target in the viewfinder, and helps you lock onto the flag more easily, uh, reduce errors, and hopefully speed up the use when you're about to hit your shot. So uh, it takes a bit of getting used to, but I think after a while, I, I really enjoy the functionality that this offers. Obviously, it's very easy to adjust the focus there. You've got a couple of different modes as well via the button. Uh, the one thing to talk about is the fact that it is white and if you don't use the carry case, maybe you chuck it in your bag after your shot, it will discolour quite a lot. You can see here it's turned a slightly tint of brown. But other than that, really like the functionality. It is a bit expensive, um, comes in at £379, so a lot of money for the functionality. But I think if you do make the investment, you'll really enjoy what it has to offer. <laughs> So the Nikon CoolShot ATI i is essentially the slope adjusted distance version of the standard Nikon laser. So it has the same 
uh, other features that featured on the other ones. So it's got the thousand yard range, it's got the vibration reduction technology as well, but it just comes in at 420 pounds and for that you're getting Nikon's ID technology, which essentially compensates for different slopes on the course. And to be fair to Nikon, both the CoolShot 80 and the CoolShot 80i are both waterproof. So it does go some way to justifying the higher price tag. So ideal for practice rounds uh, and uh, friendly rounds if you're playing a course you've not played before to give you those adjusted distances to help improve your accuracy on hilly courses. Next up is the Golf Buddy LR7. Now this builds on the popular LR5 model and actually it's got four different modes on this laser. So it's got things like pin mode, which will pick out the flag from the background and also a scan mode, which we found really useful off the tee to scan from uh, hazards, backs of bunkers, back onto the fairway to see different distances to help plot your strategy off the tee and select the right club. Uh, it's also got a very box-like shape, so it kind of fits in the hand very neatly. It's probably one of the largest of the models that we've picked in this video, but still very comfortable to use, uh, very easy to adjust the focus. Viewfinder is pretty basic, but still gives you all the relevant information, very easy to read in different light conditions, and it comes in at a reasonable price, £249.99. pence. So uh, you're getting quite a lot of features and functionality for your money with this one. Recommend you give it a try if you're looking to save perhaps a few pounds. So last up is the Callaway 300 Pro laser. I've not used a Callaway laser in the past. We're actually pretty impressed with this one. It comes in at 299 pounds. It's got a thousand yard range, but the main technology feature with this is a, a birdie chirp sound when, it, when you pick out the flag from the background, much like Bushnell has a vibrating jolt. This offers an audible uh, chirp sound like a bird. So if I just pick out that flag over there from the background, Hopefully you heard that, you can see it gives quite a loud chirp. Maybe your playing partners might notice that it might put them off, but I don't think that's really applicable. I think it's a really interesting feature actually. Um, the looks great, fits nice and easily in your hand. It's got a couple of different modes on there as well to help your strategy out in the course. And also it's waterproof and fog proof. So for £299 to get a laser that is waterproof is uh, pretty innovative from Callaway not tried it out in terms of getting it wet so you have to trust their word on that but um, very impressive package for the money uh, recommend you give it a go so with all this wonderful laser range finder technology which would we choose if we absolutely had to well i've picked out two of my favorites the first is the bushnell tour v4 shift I like the fact that you know, Bushnell is a very respected brand. It's the number one brand, laser range finder brand on tour. You know you're getting reliable, uh, accurate distances. They're very well regarded in the scope world of kind of hunting and shooting, things like that, binoculars. Um, the technology is fantastic. The jolt function is excellent. And obviously with this one, you're getting both slope adjusted distances and normal distances in one unit at the touch of a button and a reasonable price. So that's my first choice. Also comes with a very premium looking carry case, unlike the Nikon, which is probably one of, one of the reasons I've not chosen the Nikon. I love the vibration reduction technology, but it is a lot of money and the carry cases are a little bit budget for me. So I've not picked that one. The second one I've picked is the Golf Buddy LR7. It's very simple. It uh, comes in at a very reasonable price of 250 pounds. And for that price, you're getting a, a lot of functionality. Like I said, four different modes. Uh, so all the different scenarios out on the course that you would face, other than of course, blind shots where you can't use a laser, the, the LR7 is gonna deliver the performance that you're looking for. It's a very useful for different situations. Uh, looks great, very easy to use. And like I said, comes in at a reasonable price. So these are the two I would favor if you're looking for a new laser rangefinder. Uh, make sure you check out the Golf Monthly website for individual reviews of all these products. Uh, but hopefully, you found this video helpful. But for now, from Goodwood, it's goodbye.